So I don't really follow Gamescom. Is that a hot take? Not following all of Jeff Keighley's game announcements? I'm not a, you know, I, I feel like the Jeff Keighley shows at the beginning of the year and the end of the year are really my extent of watching him. He reminds me of Ryan Seacrest in a way where in the early 2000s, Ryan Seacrest was just everywhere, right? Like he was the golden boy for, I don't wanna say reality TV, but like talent TV. And then I grew up and he got annoying. And that's how I feel about Ryan Keeley. But anyway, Gamescom has been going on, or it was going on pretty much over the last week or so. And there were some pretty interesting things announced and shown. But for me, I was just waiting for like one game to just take the cake for me. And I've been in the camp of saying that I would really, really, really like a new take on the Mafia game. I know I haven't done a video on the Mafia games. I've meant to over the years, uh, years, what the fuck? Over the last year, I purchased the Mafia Trilogy on Steam, which was the remaster or remake or whatever the Mafia Definitive Edition was, as well as the Mafia 2 version, and then it came with Mafia 3. And I played through the Definitive Edition, and I got about halfway through 2 before I scrapped the video idea that I was going to make. But... I really like the Mafia games, like a lot. Like I, I connect with those characters more than most of the GTA main protagonists, okay? I, again, I'm full of hot takes recently, but again, I'm not saying that these games are better than the GTA games, okay? For those of you that have one brain cell, I just connect with the characters more. Please don't leak my IP address. But what does this have to do with anything? Well, Mafia the Old Country, the newest Mafia game in the franchise, was announced at Gamescom on August 21st. Now, it's again, it's been a couple days. I've let this sit, and honestly, I was playing Black Myth Wukong, so I kind of forgot about this, but this is pretty much my dream Mafia game, at least from the sounds of it. From what we know so far, Mafia the Old Country will be set in Sicily in the 1900s, and it's probably going to be the early 1900s, and it's going to be very gritty, and it will basically uncover the organized, or, oh my God, I. I can't read. Essentially, the story is going to be dark. It's going to be gritty. And it's going to pretty much tell us the origin stories of the mafia. Like, like we're getting a game about the start of the mafia. Like, just can we just let that sink in for a second? That just sounds absolutely amazing. Hangar 13, for me, is one of my, I like to say, underrated studios. Kind of a studio that flies under the radar with studios like... Rockstar floating around or Nether Realm, all of these like major named studios. Hangar 13 gets kind of left in the dark here, and I cannot wait for them to show why they are such a great studio. Now, there's probably going to be Mafia fans who've played these games more times than I can count telling me that they're scared because they didn't like Mafia 3. I know that Mafia 3, from what I've read at least, was kind of decisive, kind of pulverizing in different ways for different people. Not everybody liked it as much as they hoped for. And that's okay because for me, the first two Mafia games were just so good that it was probably hard for a new studio, new studio to come in and make a third Mafia game or a new studio with different parts or different parts to the same studio. However, that situation played out. It was probably hard to follow up two really great single player games. But one of the reasons I trust Hangar 1 is because of just how great, how polished, how really beautiful Mafia the Definitive Edition is. That game is goddamn gorgeous. I could look at that game's wallpaper engine just for the rest of my life. It's so good. Now, you can't really take what game studio presidents say with face value because a lot of the times they're just trying to get our cash. But Nick Baines, the president of Hangar 13, stated that this latest entry in the series is going to go back to the roots of what fans love about the franchise, crafting a deep linear narrative with that classic mob movie feeling, visiting a stunning new setting and delivering it all in a tight focused package perfect for fans of immersive experiences. And that is literally every single thing I want for a Mafia game. 
like the mafia franchise is just so good and the stories that they tell are so good and that just oh, I, i'm getting too hyped about it i'm gonna be honest like i'm getting a little too excited for this game already and we don't even have gameplay all we saw was like a cinematic cutscene-esque trailer and they told us that this game is coming out in 2025 and can we have a talk about 2025 i think this year is probably going to be the biggest year biggest, biggest year in gaming that we've ever had like we're literally getting GTA, we're getting a new GTA game, we're getting a new Mafia game, we're getting probably a new Switch, we're getting like a super long awaited Pokemon type game. Like we're, ju we're just getting so many hits in 2025 or so many games that should be basically 10 out of 10 experiences i'm just oh my god so if you haven't played the mafia games and you're able to run them on a pc that is you know good enough to run these games i would go to steam and check out the mafia franchise i believe most of them should still be on sale and this new mafia game this mafia 4 essentially is wish listable on steam right now so go give it a chance if you want or go give the other games a chance and see how you feel i would say say out of any of the games to play i would say play the mafia definitive edition just because i think that that's the best mafia game in my opinion again i'm not like a, i didn't grow up playing the mafia games i'm a new aged fan okay <laughs> i would give that one a chance just because i think it looks the best i think it is the best in terms of story and i think the music and everything the cutscenes all of it is just such a really 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 good and impactful game at least for me so I'm excited. I'm excited to see what Hangar 13 drops us. I mean, we're we're literally living in a world where we're getting a new GTA and a new Mafia game. And they're going to be, I don't want to say they're going to be competing because we all win when games like this come out. But they're basically going to be competing for what game is going to be the best game of 2025. And I mean, it's, it's probably going to be GTA, but who cares? This is my cup of tea right here. So if you're excited for this new Mafia game, let me know in the comment sections down below. This was a lot more rambly than normal. So I apologize. But with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.